So this is the voltage block from Maleco Heavy Industry. I've got it paired with a Varigear 8. But before we get into any specific features, which there's lots and it's really quick and fun, I wanted to highlight that, that it's quick and fun. With the Varigate, I've got a basic beat set up across the SSF entity, the mutant drum modules, and the audio damage boom shack. A little bit of reverb in the background, so this is sort of back of what we're going to work on. Let's check it out. Nice and simple. We're going to add in the boom shack for some extra drum layers and show how quick the voltage block is to animate that. But first, I've already got something plugged into my hi hat decay. And the way the voltage block works is, you hold a step and then you change the value of the output. So let's hit some steps, the hi-hat's playing all 16 notes, and let's change its values. So really quick to animate that hi-hat. Now, let's plug in a trigger to the boom shack. And let's start animating things. Let's start with, let's say the decay, which is, So we hit the step we want and then we change the level of the second output. Let's change the pitch. Change the bend decay. Let's check out this noise sound. Change the frequency of the filtering on that noise. Let's change the amp decay. and the mix between both sides. So let's just listen to the boom shack. really quick to get that animated. So let's check out the voltage block and its various features after showing how quick and easy it was to get that animated. So with the same patch patched up from the intro where we built up all the animation, let's focus on some of the performance features and how quick and easy and fun this is to jam with. Let's just hear the patch again.
And this is all modulating the audio damage boom shack. Here it is on its own. We've got a built-in arpeggiator, and it's super simple to use. Although this isn't particularly a melodic patch, so you may be wondering why we'd use an arpeggiator. It cycles through any held steps. Before we get into the arpeggiator, you can hold any of the 16 steps, and it'll simply repeat it. The arpeggiator is as simple as holding two or more steps. If I move my fingers out of the way, you can see they cycle. So jamming this, even just manipulating beats works great. Let's hear the background beat again and have a quick play around. The next thing we can do that's nice and simple is to hit mute and mute any of the eight outputs. So let's cut out the hi-hat manipulation. Here that is on its own. Let's hear the boom shack on its own and start cutting out some of its modulation. beat back. Finally, the hi-hat decay. So here I've set up another drum patch. I'm going to show you another quick, really fast, really inspiring way to work. Here's the basic beat. And the neuron from Audio Damage is going to take all eight outputs to its eight CV inputs. Now rather than sort of finely crafting and fine tuning these voltages, you can simply jam on the sliders. So let's take the first output into tune. And if we just slide this up and down, it's gonna record this animation of the slider. take another output to modulation depth modulation tuning then the distress which is like a multi-drive. Noise amount. Let's just turn down the beat in the background. Let's go for the pitch envelope amount. Pitch envelopes decay. And finally, the amplitude decay. Let's hear that against the beat.
Now, we can override these by simply playing the sliders again. So, super quick, jammable way to animate something. So in this patch, I wanted to show the voltage block as a melodic sequencer. Here I have Mutable Instruments rings playing a string sound. I'm striking it in the strum input with this rhythm from the Variegate 8 Plus. And I've got a Volt Per Octave signal plugged into the first output. Scale, let's set and leave off for now. And let's just add in some notes. Let's change the scale of this and quantize it. Quite like that. It's a little bit high, let's pull that down. with the seven extra outputs, let's modulate some of Ring's parameters. And remember we can arpeggiate these like we did with a drum voice. Completely randomize the sequence again. So it's a great way to get melodic content as well as percussive and heavily animated sounds as well. So to end on, let's check out the voltage block controlling a whole patch. Have a kick, clap and hi-hat alongside some percussion from the Neuron and a little, well, what will be a melodic sequence from Rings. This is all mixed, a little bit of reverb. Let's check it out, static and unanimated. Let's start with the bass drum and add some animation to that. Let's just take step one and increase the FM amount on the kick. Now the clap has this reverb amount. Let's make beat four a longer clap sound. Let's add a pitch sequence to rings. Let's change the scale. Let's change the brightness. Say position. Let's change the decay on the neuron. Let's change that one.
change the mod depth on the percussion. Let's change the play mode, let's say reverse. We can hold steps again. Arpeggiate them. Mute the outputs. Let's randomize the whole sequence. and keep going till we find something that we like. Just leave it at that. Go back to forward motion. Playback in a random order as well. We can also add glide if we want to make, say, this pitch glide. So it's an amazing tool that's inspiring, fun and quick. There's loads of other features in there, paired with a Variegate 8. You've got some more complex song modes, lots of preset storage. This is such a powerful pairing that we highly recommend both. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more future music videos.